You're having anxiety by more into entertainment, more into decadence, more into being selfish, more into being a liar, more into being delusional. <clears throat> there is a spirit of great delusion being poured out upon the land, but at the same time, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, to quote Sir Isaac Newton, and then later, of course, the great physicist Einstein, Albert Einstein. For this great reaction of evil, for this great... A uh, mountain of evil rising up out of the sea, there is a huge counteraction happening. And at the very highest levels of the system, in, in, in propaganda, entertainment, government, religion, people really are now seeing that goodness is the way to go. It's only when evil completely starts to take over that, that people realize that goodness is like a warm berth in a ship in the middle of a frozen sea of death. When things are good and society's virtuous, it can become its own tyranny to those that don't understand history. And so the, the allure of rebellion and wickedness against good looks very sexy. But once you're in the bondage of evil, then you look back and see that liberty is actually a free country. Liberty is a oasis in a world of barbarism and dishonor. Honor and truthfulness is the very blood of a free, safe, and happy civilization and society. And I see the amount of dishonor growing or the amount of people just completely disconnected from reality and, ho and hooked into entertainment and mindlessness, and I really am concerned for these people because they have no idea the type of world they're going into. I see so many well-meaning yuppies, so many well-meaning professionals, so many overall good people who are freaked out, scared, and grasping at different societal frauds, different societal pipe dreams, believing it will fulfill them if they can just be a rock star, if they can just be a rap star, if they could just be a movie star, if they could just be a sports star, as if those were the only avenues to success in life. Success in life is being fulfilled yourself in the act of creation, the act of literature, art, raising children, cooking a good meal, having good friends, having a good laugh, believing in yourself. That is what is going to fulfill you. Loving God, loving justice is what is going to fulfill you. Not loving the completely narcissistic, soulless, completely empty folks that are a bunch of haughty, pompous know-it-alls. I mean, you run into the country club types who stick their nose up in the air to make you feel small so they feel good. What incredible losers those people are. Completely scared, completely freaked out about what's going on in the world. I'm not saying everybody at a country club is like that, but you know the types I'm talking about. The uh, Judge Smales types from Caddyshack, who everyone really hates and who are too stupid to even know it. Meanwhile, the real rich guy in the neighborhood doesn't even, you know, change his shirt but once a week. And you know, the, 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 that's why that movie's so funny for people that have been around that type of stuff because it's so archetypal, those type of individuals. I grew up on a golf course around people like that in Dallas, Texas, seeing the exact same stuff going on that's in that movie. Those are like real people in that movie, folks. That's There are real people that actually wear captain hats when they take their boat out. There are real people that actually are mean to waiters. And, and, and mean to their neighbors and tell people their, their dress doesn't look good so they can feel big. Those people are scum of the earth. And they're the type of people that want control and want power. And we have a responsibility to stand up against them. Now, when we come back, I'm getting right into the news. Stocks slide as valuation worries grow. That's exactly what uh, Harry Dent and others have been saying and Max Kaiser, that by the middle of this year, all hell is going to break loose. We're two months away from that. And it's already started. Uh, we're going to get into Red Dawn supporters rally to defend family facing showdown with the feds. The feds are bringing in armored vehicles and assault rifles against unarmed groups, licking their lips to kill some Americans. Holder, 
He says, we want to explore gun tracking bracelets for all Americans who have guns. That's all coming up. And the Russians are starting to eye taking more of eastern Ukraine. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi, folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Every day it becomes more clear our nation is headed towards an uncertain future. Nothing can ensure your family's security like an Atlas Survival Shelter. The strongest money can buy and designed to be buried up to 42 feet deep with all the comforts of home and all the protection you need. Bulletproof hatches, tamper-resistant air pipes, and a unique ground design that'll withstand a bomb. See them today at IWantThatBunker.com or call 1-855-4-BUNKER. Atlas Survival Shelters. Better prepared than scared. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Extend your life with Extend Ovite. So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extend Ovite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extend Ovite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had not known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have, but I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Over. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here back live. Let's get into the story from the Washington Free Beacon. It's up on DrudgeReport.com and InfoWars.com. Holder, we want to explore gun tracking bracelets. DOJ requesting $2 million for gun safety technology grants. We're going to play a clip of that in a moment and then dovetail it with uh, another report uh, dealing with taser bracelets they want you to wear to be able to fly. You heard me right. Homeland Security is actually having meetings on that for at least two and a half years. We broke the story back in 2012. Coming next, TSA electric shock bracelets. 
But remember, California just put out of business most gun manufacturers there because of micro stamping on the firing pins, which basically makes them have to retool their entire factories. And you're seeing the move towards biometric guns and, and systems that they can electronically knock out. And then they're going to try to make all the other guns obsolete and illegal. So this is just outrageous. But, you know, Holder's goal is civilian disarmament under the UNIDIR UN Treaty that says, quote, civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state. That statement is totally true except for one word, legitimate. There is nothing legitimate about a power monopoly of the state unless you're Dennis Rodman hanging out with that narcissistic, degenerate, sycophant Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, I mean, give me a break. And, and again, you see the narcissistic photos of Kim Jong-un and the video of him with Dennis Rodman and all the crazy sycophants staring and smiling to be with him on TV at the basketball court. You could not pay me a billion dollars to go over there and hang around with Kim Jong-un. Actually, I would take the billion and try to use it to overthrow the North Korean government. The point is, is that it's just ridiculous. And folks, I've been there. I've been there in the bleachers with the coolest people in America, and it's empty. I just keep harping on that because even the dictator of North Korea is obsessed and so disconnected, he thinks the wash-up washed up a decade ago. Dennis Rodman, who sounds like Soros talking. I mean, he thinks that's cool, ladies and gentlemen. I've hung out with Carmen Electra. I guess that's a little bit cooler, but that wasn't too cool. She was nice. The whole point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that who cares? Who cares? It's sick. Now, let's go to the guy that wants your guns, who wants to ban all the other guns and make you wear a biometric bracelet for your gun to work. This is insane. And they'll first make cops do it. Watch. Just like they put GPS in the cop cars first, and it's going to be everybody. They first abuse the enforcers, then they abuse everybody else. Because, well, if i got to do it, you got to do it. This is how they're coming after the guns, folks, regulatorily, outside of law. Here is the enemy of Fast and Furious, Benghazi cover-up, everything. This is the false flag master who covered up Oklahoma City in federal court documents. Here he is wanting you to wear a bracelet. A meeting with a group of technology people and talked about how um, guns can be made more safe by making them either through fingerprint identification, um, the gun talks to a, a bracelet or something that you might wear, um, how guns can be used only by the person who is uh, lawfully in um, possession of, of the weapon. Smart guns. So it's, it's those kinds of things that I think we want to try to... Uh, Just like smart so meters and smartphones, the whole tie your gun into the NSA, basically. That's it. Now, let's go to... The company that has had meetings with Homeland Security, and Homeland Security said in briefings, we're linked to it in the article, that they would like to adopt this. The uh, Lampard Less Lethal Ink Taser Bracelet to fly. By the way, I want to send man on the street out to ask people if they would wear a shock bracelet for everyone's safety for Obama. I want to send the reporters out. Send out McAdoo, send out maybe McBreen. He's mainly the graphics guy. He does incredible graphics, but maybe McBreen should go out and ask folks about the taser bracelet. In fact, that's it. Send McBreen out. Now, let's go to part of this clip with the taser bracelet. Here it is. By further equipping each bracelet with EMD technology, oh. the bracelets will allow crew members using radio frequency transmitters to quickly and effectively subdue hijackers. The electromuscular disruption signal oh. overrides the attacker's central nervous system and will render even the most elite and aggressive terrorist completely immobile for several minutes. This will allow the crew to subdue and handcuff that individual. EMD technology is designed to incapacitate a target from a safe distance without causing permanent injury, which means these criminals will survive and go to trial. The bracelet would only be armed by someone on board upon confirmation that a takeover situation exists. To a businessman on his way home to be reunited with his family, or to a young family going south for a winter holiday, wearing an EMD safety We're going to go to break. Come back. Hours this is not satire. Why not wear exploding bracelets around your neck like The Running Man by Stephen King? I mean, that's where it's going. This is what they want. Bunch of scum. 
Uh, we're going to talk about Al Sharpton, too, coming up. The Rat. We're on the march.